Hello, it's Tuesday! And we've got Tech Master Luke pulling a flatbed train with logs. Actually, a tree of logs and some containers. And guess what? The track is blue because it's totally blue track, obviously, but guess what else is blue? Remember I did the Ute, the dark green Ute car pickup truck thingy? Well, speaking of trucks, look what made! Ho ho ho! It is, ooh, that is a blue truck here! I can't believe it, it's a main freight trip that truck though! And you might be thinking, oh, Ivan doesn't make trucks a lot though. Well, I can tell you what, this is obviously my first flip up toy truck. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I think um, I should make another one of these, eh? And Trackmaster Luke is doing quite a bit of a fast run here. Oh my goodness me. Now, before I can get into the truck, I just want to see Trackmaster Luke is doing the run on this Trackmaster layout. Well, sort of, but, um,. I'm not going to show you the rest of the layout there until like maybe the end of the video, eh? But, yes, this is just that main plate truck here. You can just grab it and see what it looks like. Ooh! Oh my goodness, it's got that Disney Cars aesthetic design. Oh wow, it's got numbers on the side here. Let me just put this truck here and see what it looks like. It is. Ooh, it's got the number of 20,020058 on each side. So I definitely say that looks like a classy looking um, toy truck from Flip Flap. And obviously it's made from cardboard, wood, obviously paper, oh my goodness me, for that matter. Pay for that matter obviously though. And what's sort of weird is, is that this toy truck actually has a couple of mirrors on each side, which looks pretty amazing. Obviously it looks like Optimus Prime by the looks of it thing, but at the same time it's got that Disney Cars aesthetic. With those eyes on the windshield and that face on the... I don't know what it is. I don't know what's that thing on the bottom of the front cars and automobiles. But uh, anyways, it is a truck because it's called Main Flight. It's got the exhaust pipes. I'd say maybe the exhaust pipes, obviously they look like ears and whatnot though for an animal or a creature or whatnot though. Obviously, I love this truck design, eh? It is a rigid truck because it's not pulling a trailer, it's got a little box of it, eh? Look like Main Flight! Okay, I believe Main Flight is like some sort of weird company in New Zealand which does like deliveries and whatnot. There, it's got a barcode on the side here, I don't know why. Obviously, from the fact that it comes from some sort of weird bakery product there, I believe, then. And also, when you open the side doors, the mirrors are actually attached on either side. And here's the other side as well. Hopefully these mirrors aren't that shonky. And um, it does feel quite flimsy though, the front cab of the truck here. And uh, it looks a bit of a nice, the box isn't removable though. But it uh, looks quite interesting now, the cab roof looks quite flimsy as well. Just showing you there from the top. Uh, oh, pardon me. <laughs> that was my bad burping already though. I love the details on that flip flap main freight. Um, logo here on the truck, that boxy section there. And what's quite strange about this prime mover, well, even if it's not a prime mover, I think prime movers refer to like truck units or semi trucks for that matter, eh? And, um, God, so it looks quite nice. What's very nice is that on the back, look at this. There's the back doors here, but we've also got like a warning sign at the back of this truck. Took up main freight, special company to. Special customers and special deliveries. And it's also got a warning sign over there with some backlights or tail lights. And it's also got the logo Kenworth. KW 13S Study. Obviously, for the fact that this truck is basically a reference to the Kenworth K200, sold in Australia and New Zealand. Probably one of the most recognizable of all prime movers in the Southern Hemisphere. And um, if we take it to the bottom here. Look at this. His name's called Kenny Worth. Kenny Worth Worth. That's quite a very nice looking truck, though. A rigid 6x4. Obviously, that's much more of an experimental truck, I believe, eh? Quite an amazing looking truck, though, or you might call it lorry, though, because I live in the UK. But, anyways, let me just lift this truck up, though, and see what we've got. Let's see what the back doors look like here. 
Okay, let's see what we have. And if you open on the back doors here, you can fit some stuff inside, eh? I don't know what you want to put inside, eh? Maybe some two cars, like 164 diecast cars. Probably from Hot Wheels. In fact, I might probably start making some cars from Hot Wheels, eh? It looks pretty nice, eh? And, um, yes, it's quite interesting, eh? Very, very nice. And then we'll just close these back doors, eh? It does remind me of what a real truck would look like, eh? I can tell you, it looks pretty awesome. I love the radiator grill on the front, eh? And, oh my goodness, man, I love those headlights here as well, though. Reminds me of that character, it's like a Mac? I ain't no Mac! I'm a Peterbilt for dang sake! Turn on your lights, you moron! <laughs> Reminds me of that, um, oh yes, yeah, so is that Jerry Recycled Batteries from from the film Cars, where Lonnie McQueen actually mistaken that truck for Mac? That must have been quite freaking amazing, eh? Anyways, I've got the light detailing here on this truck, main freight. Not sure how blue the logo is, eh? And there's the other side. There you go, it's quite a very... Ooh, that's quite large, eh? If only the wheel was on, orange in colour, eh? It would have been so much better, eh? I mean, why would... Oh, I don't know why do I have to stick to orange wheels as the main vehicle details or the main wheel colour for road vehicles, obviously, eh? It's very strange. But anyways, it's quite a nice looking truck, eh? But you know what's also reminding me of? It's also reminding me of, um... I don't know what's called though, there's some sort of weird children's kids toys. Uh, it's actually reminding me of Dicky Toys. Um, obviously, I'm pretty sure Dicky Toys have designed truck toys like that before, eh? It's quite amazing, eh? Very, very cool. I could make like, you know, a fire engine or any other vehicle, you know, which looks very similar to Dicky Toys, though. Hopefully the glue must have stuck all the wheels perfectly, eh? In fact, I might probably add some more because these wheels, they look like they're starting to fall apart. But nevertheless, it's quite a nice truck indeed. Very, very nice. And, speaking of blue, do you know what's the opposite of blue? You guessed it, red, because I've got this back here, which looks like that. I'm not going to show you what's inside here because obviously all of it is just, you know, basically, you know, things I don't really want to mention here. Okay, it is basically a bag where Fifth Lab decides to partnership with TikTok. Well, I don't think I'll be making any TikTok videos, well, obviously throughout the rest of this year because of the actions and consequences I had recently on April Fool's Day. But well, I'm not going to get into it though, eh, which is quite weird, eh, because um, it will probably freak other people out. There's the other side here. Okay, without, you know, normal British birds, we've got like exotic birds and... Obviously we've got CDI Link as well there now, obviously I've chose CDI Link because this character here to me, in my opinion, is such an intellectual and not only that, but he's also quite a funny looking character here during quarantine times, I have to say he was pretty much hilarious there, he was a spotlight character there when I was pretty much self-isolating when I had the coronavirus back in um, April of last year oh my goodness me, that really does bring back some nostalgic times eh? Nostalgic indeed. And then we've got some parrots, a toucan, uh, obviously we've got a scarlet ibis, and we've got some sort of weird bird, I can't remember why. And what is that, a cormorant, so? And we've got the TikTok logo. There's the other side here. Okay, so I wonder what birds do we see on this British version here. Ooh, we've got what looks like to be a seagull here. And we've got a robin, a lapwing, could be a crow or a raven. It looks like a flamingo, and this one here, I believe, is a wintering oyster catcher. What a nice looking bag of some sort, eh? Oops, I'm not sure if I can show you the herring guy here. I'm not going to show you what's inside here because, and also the robin here, for the fact that um, it's just normal pieces of paper, eh? But uh, it's quite a nice, like, you know, it's quite a very nice handbag there. I did this just, I actually forgot to bring this, you know after Christmas, or maybe like before Christmas, you know, before the Christmas holidays, I actually did this in 2020, and there's CDR Link doing another great smile here. Great! I'll grab my stuff! But anyways, that's pretty much just a very demo video here, because I just don't think I've got any other things I could just talk about. Other than the fact I really love this toy truck here, probably one of the best models I've ever created so far. Oh my goodness me. 
in this year, which is so, so awesome, right? Running out of ideas, but this truck looks totally awesome. Excellent in condition, eh? Excellent indeed. I love the details on this truck. And that will obviously mean, ooh, yeah, eh, baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think that's about that in this video. Um, as we come close to the end of the Easter holidays, please give this video a like. Subscribe for more fun content in the future. Hey, I'm sorry this video is going to be rough already today because I don't know what to say, eh? But anyways, thanks so much for watching and goodbye for now.